All right, this is a video you want. If you graph your data and you get sort of a, a increase with a curve like this, this is the indication that you probably have a quadratic. So in this case, we're gonna start by going to the advanced edit. We're gonna temporarily turn on our legend. You'll see why in a moment. And I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom to trend line, and then I'm gonna select polynomial. Now polynomial is, is what I mean by quadratic. Um, it means that your x variable um, is being raised to a certain power. So I'm gonna then choose the label of use equation, then I'm gonna click update. So once I've done that, um, it gives me my equation for the line here. So 1x to the exponent 2. So they don't use, um, unfortunately, superscripts to make it clear yet, but hopefully they'll do that update and it won't look so ugly. Uh, so what we want to do here is we want to take that um, formula and we want to modify it to what it actually means with our experiment. So in this case, y is our dependent variable, it's the area. In this example, it's kind of like the side length of a square. If your square is one or one meter, then its area of the entire square would be one. If, it's, if your side length is two, then two times two is four, et cetera, et cetera. So this is the side length of a square versus the area. It gives this kind of relationship. So I'll substitute A, capital A for area, because that's commonly what we use in math for it, but you could choose anything as long as you just tell people what it what everything means including the units which in this case we have to type like this but in your final report you can probably put it into an actual superscript in whatever software you're using and then in this case I chose L to equal the length and that's basically you know all we we really need to do there now sometimes you're not going to get a really beautiful answer like this. So let me just change a few numbers. Let, let, let me just say uh, it's a little unrealistic but this is more like what you're going to get. So if I if I change that a little bit and now it starts spitting out all of these different decimals and so what I can do is I can look at those and I can try and think of like what's actually going on and should I be rounding any of these? Can I simplify any of these? And And in this case I probably could because I can round this one up to one so it'd be just x squared and both of these are very close to zero so I could um, decide to round those to zero uh, to make it more simple so again I'd want to do that if I was sort of thinking about what I knew was actually happening um, rather than copy all these decimals down you can if you're not sure what they mean but if you can simplify it uh, then feel free to do so as a last step we go back to advanced edit we're just going to turn off that legend because we don't really need it.